Howdy y'all, today is September 3rd and it's Saturday, so that means it's beehive day. Uh, I'm getting all suited up, a little more prepared this week. I'm going to light the smoker before I get into the hive, that way I don't slip my glove off again and get stung. Actually, that never really did anything. Uh, I'm really impressed, because uh, usually it just swells up like crazy, so maybe the stings are getting better, fingers crossed. Uh, I do need to fill their feeder up today, so I mixed six and a half pounds of sugar with six and a half cups of water. So I got that. And uh, I'm just gonna do a quick hive inspection. I just kinda wanna see some eggs, some larvae, some brood, uh, see if they've got any more honey in those two bottom deeps. And uh, that's about it, so should be good. were much better today. I don't think it was because of the smoke because they didn't come flying up at me uh, real hard this time, which is nice. Um, I saw some larvae capped over brood. Uh, I didn't see any eggs, but since I saw the other two, I knew there were some in there. Um, the two new frames that I put in when I took the drone combs out last week or two weeks ago, uh, they haven't done too much with it yet, but they've started some good work on it. Uh, their feeder was completely dry, so they did go through all that, so they'll be happy to have double what they had before. So bees look good and they are done for the week. Happy Labor Day, y'all. There's no shortage of work to be done. So doing the chickens, uh, bees are good. Still been a long day, but a very good day. So I'm gonna finish the chickens up for the evening and call it a day. I hope everybody enjoyed their day off if you were able to take a day off today. Howdy y'all, today is September 6th and I am out at the main property and I have a friend who, uh, super kind, I called him a couple days ago and was seeing if he knew anybody that would be able to help me out with my field here as far as bush hogging, uh, disking, planting, anything along those lines or if they knew anybody and uh, my friend went ahead and just volunteered and said uh, he'd help me out so he's here bush hogging right now which is fantastic so that's really helping out thank you so much for that uh, we're gonna let it kind of dry out for a couple days here and then uh, he's gonna come back and disc it and then after that get it planted I'm just working on some weed eating right now up along the front. Uh, my dad has a chainsaw out and he's kind of uh, clearing out the ditch along the front a little bit as well because there were some trees growing in there. So uh, overall, just a good productive day. Beautiful out. I love this weather.
Okay, so after the bush hogging's done and it sits for a little while, uh, my friend's gonna disc it up. So basically uh, what he's gonna do is drag some discs behind his tractor. And that's gonna kind of tear up the ground um, and get it ready to plant. So he's gonna use a drill uh, to do that. And uh, hopefully everything will get done before September 15th. And that'll be great, at least around September 15th. It doesn't have to be super spot on. It kind of depends on the weather, but that should give um, the pasture mix enough time to kind of establish yourself before winter hits uh, and then it goes dormant for a while so this is looking really nice out here though Today is September 7th and my friend just called and said he disced up my field. He did four passes on it, which is crazy, but those were some big weeds, so probably had to go ahead and do four to get rid of everything uh, blended in well. So right now I'm going to run out to his property and drop off the seed because he is going to plant it tomorrow. Uh, Weather-wise, uh, it'll work out perfect, which is great. Um, and then after that, my property is just right around the corner, so we'll swing by and see what it looks like. That looks really nice. Just completely different feel to it. But this ground is, it's rough, <laughs> that's for sure. It's uh, pretty much like clay. That's not real nice. It's kind of wet though, so I'll cut it some slack, but it's not the best soil right now, but it'll get there, but this looks really nice. Thank you so much to my friend for doing this. I really, really appreciate it. All right, y'all, so now I'm back over here at the main coops and I brought around one bag of bedding. Uh, I got a couple more I'll bring around. I was gonna move the chicks out today, but maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Uh, they're a little over a week old now. They're definitely getting a lot more energy flapping around. They haven't quite jumped out of that tub yet, but they're getting close. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for them and then uh, move them out whenever they're ready. be something like this. I have another bag and then I'm going to drop a heat light right down in the middle there. That way the chicks kind of feel like they have a little bit of boundaries and they don't feel so lost in this big area. So that's what I did uh, with the other chicks and they really liked it so I'll probably do that and then uh, they should be set up. Today is September 8th and these guys are going to graduate to the big coop. So weather permitting, this looks like the best time to do it. Plus they're getting a little bigger and I don't want them jumping out. They have been jumping on top of their food bowl so that's kind of a springboard to get out. So today is a perfect day.
these guys are out of the tub and into the coop. So far, so good. And all this bedding I laid down was just what was in their tub. Figure why not put it out here? It'll give them something to scratch through. guys I'm at Tractor Supply. I gotta pick up a metal trash can for the chicks food as well as a scoop. planted that is such a good feeling got it in in plenty of time rain's coming tomorrow everything worked out really well good morning everybody today is september 9th also known as my birthday so it's a little extra special day Let's go check on the chicks and see how they did on their first night out. Doesn't look like you guys figured out the heat lamp. Or maybe you did and you just like the sun. But so far they all look good. They survived the night. Well, you guys, Annie left me a little birthday gift and she laid her first egg. That's pretty cool. 